We've been told so many things. I didn't find the sculpture of uh, Prophet Muhammad there. I, I didn't see one. So I, I think there's so many people out there who think uh, so many things that are not even uh, existent. For the fourth year running, Jamia Mosque Nairobi opened its doors to members of the public from all faiths. In a bid to promote better understanding of Islam, members of the public were taken on a tour of the mosque and had their questions answered. Hundreds of non-Muslims flooded Jamia Mosque Nairobi for the open day where Muslim scholars sought to demystify misconceptions associated with Islam. And this is the fourth open day that we are doing this year, alhamdulillah. And the, the main objective of this is just to give the, the, our side of the story and that is uh, to pass on the, uh, the main message of Islam, to demystify Islam. Because as we know, there are so many misconceptions outside there, especially about our mosque, about Muslims, that Muslims, they confine themselves in their mosques, we don't know what is in there. So we are just giving people an opportunity to come and tour the mosque, see the mosque. We value this day because it's a day we showcase what Islam is all about, what a mosque is all about, and how people perceive the mosque could be different and clear any misconceptions that anyone has about Islam, about the mosque, about Muslims. So we open the door to everyone to come and have a look for themselves, by themselves, on issues concerning the religion of Islam and all that can be heard of or said for Islam. And uh, also we share the materials that we have and they ask questions that they have about Islam. And we also share the copy of the Holy Quran that we have nothing to hide. We are ready to put out our story, to put out our message. And that is why we are organizing this day every year. The Jamia Mosque Open Day was marked with a series of activities, including a guided tour of the mosque, open discussions and watching live Islamic prayers. The procedure was that when the guests come to the mosque, uh, first they register themselves, it is good to know our, our visitors and then we take them for a short tour to the mosque, they see the mosque where people pray, they see how it looks, they enjoy the beauty of the structures of the mosque, they feel the texture and comfort of the mat where we pray. And then after that, we took them to the multipurpose hall, whereby they had an opportunity of asking questions. And we encourage a question, any question about Islam, whether it is a positive question, negative, you can criticize, but in a positive way. And they got an opportunity whereby their questions were responded to. And that is why some of them, some of them ended up accepting or reverting to Islam. Speaking to Horizon TV, Reverend Elias Otieno said it was a big opportunity for the public to have an experience of what happens in the mosque and have first-hand information about Islam, sentiments echoed by a Bible student who was at the open day and was pleased to see the inside of a mosque for the first time in his life. My expectations was actually get away with some of the ignorance um, statements that we also always hear. We, we, I thought I'm finding a sculpture of, uh, of, of, of the prophet there. I didn't find anything. I, I, I saw just an open space where probably the leader uh, uh, leads the prayers. I, could be able to under, I was able to understand uh, how everyone lines up regardless of your status and all that. And I think that was my greatest uh, humbling moment that whether you're the president, you're the minister, you just line up like everyone else. And there's no preserved uh, seats for, you know, for the leaders or the, for the famous in the society. And, and, and I think for me that's something that really uh, was, was quite humbling and uh, I was happy to, 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 to see. Tango ni zaliwa sejwa ingia musikitini. Indio siku ya kwanza kuingia musiki, musikitini. Na nimeona kweli wa islamu, wakona umoja na upendo na watu. Kwa mana wametu ingisha musikiti, musikitini. Sasa naona hii kweli hii ni nyumba ya Bwana kweli wamejenga vizuri. Tumefundishwa pale chini vile watu wanaswali. Tumefundishwa kusoma Qur'ani. Tumefundishwa vile watu wanafaa wajipange, wachikane mabega vizuri. Ili wote wakishuhudi wanashuhudi pamoja, wanainuka pamoja. Nimefurahi sana kwa mawaidha ya viongozi wa hapo vile wametupatia hapo chini. Mimi nimetembea 
nimetembea hapo chini nimekuja paka hapa juu nimeona kweli msikiti ni nyumba nzuri ya kusali na ile mawaidha ambayo umetupatia pale e, wanaswali pamoja wakielekea pande moja hakuna watu ku, kuangalia pande ile wengine wanaangalia pande hii I come here uh, upon the invitation of the National Council of Churches of Kenya, that is NCCK, to come and join the, our Islamic brothers uh, on this open day to have an experience of what happens in the Islamic faith and to have another experience of what happens, especially in the mosque. I've been happy to be taken through what happens in the mosque, how the mosque looks, looks like, the meaning of uh, the carpets and the lines in the carpet, the dome and how it was uh, originally used by the sheikh or the imam. That is information that not many people know and uh, for me to have the privilege to know that, that is very, very important. The event saw the visitors engage in question and answer sessions with Muslim scholars explaining the purpose of the event and clarifying different misconceptions that people have about Islam. Islam is you uttering with your tongue and accepting in your heart and bearing witness and giving testimony to two things. First, you uttering by your tongue and believing in your heart that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. He's the only one, one God. You're not supposed to associate any God with Him. You're not supposed to direct any type of worship to only to, uh, to anyone other than Him. Uh, the second testimony is accepting and uttering with your tongue and accepting in your heart and bearing witness that Muhammad is his last prophet. That's how the, someone becomes a Muslim. And if anyone is interested, we can do that for him. The concept of worship in Islam is very wide. Anything that you do to get the pleasure of God is worship. So we don't have a specific day of worship. Every day is a worship day. But we have special prayers. A day when there are special prayers, yes. Friday, every week, there is a special prayer. But Friday is not a special day of worship only. And in the Quran, we are told, after the prayers, move out into the world and continue doing your business. When you are called for prayers, that specific time, and for those of you who have employees who are Muslims, they don't need the whole day on Friday. They only need a few hours to go for the prayers and come back. So every day is a worship day in Islam. Uh, the other thing I was able to, I was asking the reason why the idea behind uh, facing uh, Mecca and someone explained to me and I've never had anyone even tell me the reason why uh, Muslims face uh, Mecca when praying and we, we, we share the same father, Abraham, as Christians and, and the fact that he built the first, um, you know, the worship center or the you know, prayer uh, house. Uh, you know, something that uh, I never had an opportunity to learn, I've learned today. Uh, and therefore, uh, I'm a Bible student myself, and I, I desire to have um, different ideologies and theology. And you can't learn that if you're not exposing yourself to what is different from yourself. If you just sit and uh, with what you know, you'll never learn anything. Sheikh Mohammed Sheikh, the director of Da'wa Jamia Mosque, Nairobi, noted the desire of the public to learn and understand Islam has been growing rapidly over the years. The open day saw a number of people join the fold of Islam after a warm welcome and guided tour around the mosque and also being introduced to the basic concepts of Islam. The response of the public has been very positive. There is a very positive response. Uh, in fact, there have been opinions that we do this twice a year. Uh, that is why that was our plan even for this year. It is only that there were so many things in the year 2022, including the election. That was uh, the, the reason as to why we are holding it uh, this time round for the first time in this year. We are attaining our objective and that is to convey the message to as many people as possible. I just came to experience this very good feeling of opening up religious centers to people who don't belong to the same faiths. Does it not look good? Sinaka Vizuri, it opens up the places which you have misconceptions on. And now you can have a very clear view on what they mean 
by what they say or what they do and how they do it. Sindio, me, I have not had much problems with the Muslim faith because I lived so much. When I came to Nairobi, I lived in the Majengo area and I worked in Tanzania for eight years. So I lived in Tanzania, it's almost 50-50, 50% 50 50 Christians, 50% Muslims, so it's very easy for me to integrate and understand. But I also now, because I represent a community of, of, of voters and constituents, it is very good for me to come here and also to encourage them to, to get to visit and to know what the Islam faith is all about. Sindio? There's no one who will welcome you to their house if they're violent. Eh? And giving us a chance to even come and tour your mosque, I don't think there's any aspect of violence there. There's someone who is very welcoming. And then how you conduct your prayers and all that, I, I don't think it's an open book to understand that it's not violence. A and there's this narrative that goes around and around and until you damage that kind of narrative, I, I think many people will be in darkness uh, thinking that uh, Muslims are uh, violent and all that. And I think I've cancelled that today and I look forward to more open days. And I don't know why you're putting it one. I think you sit and, uh, you know, give, give, give us a couple of days so that you can give some people opportunity to come and learn and, you know, damage that ignorance that they have and the kind of thinking that they have. We've been told so many things. I didn't find the sculpture of uh, Prophet Muhammad there. I, I didn't see one. So uh, I think there's so many people out there who think uh, so many things that are not even uh, existent. The visitors who flooded the event were given a copy of the Quran and other reading materials to help them clear the negative narratives about Islam. I've also been given uh, uh, a copy of the Quran, which uh, I have been longing to have just to read and to know what... Uh, uh, the other faiths uh, believe and that is uh, quite an experience. I would like to encourage that not only um, Jamia Mosque or um, uh, the Islamic faith uh, hold such open days. I would like to uh, impress that uh, even in our Christianity and in other uh, faiths uh, it's very important to have uh, such open days when People from other faiths come to learn about your faith and when you exhibit what you do as a people of faith. I'll be taking the Arabic lessons. Someone has told me that it'll even take six months and I'm wondering, he look in a kanga and kumui for six months. Munda to teach up on Arabic up and I'm coming for that lesson. I've taken the institute's number. I'll set myself for January or February to come and start uh, to, to learn that language. Out of interest and, uh, you know, to learn more about uh, you know, yes. Jamia Mosque Open Day has seen a number of people revert to Islam after getting a clear picture of what Islam is really all about. For Horizon Reports, I am Nadia Osman.